What is going on guys? We're back with another video. Today it is week 14 in our LA Chargers franchise. You're seeing a very nice upgrade for Tyree Cleveland, who I believe has one final upgrade, which if you guys know Madden franchise, it's going to be a nice one. Hopefully some speed, some excel, I don't know, but something, maybe a speed or two, excel would be nice. I mean, I remember in our Desperados, Lattimore got plus two speed, and he was already like 96 plus speed, which was ridiculous. Of course, going against the Broncos, not a whole lot for them to play for. So, uh, this is really just going to be a stats game, we're being 100% honest. Uh, Vic is the MVP leader. We don't really have a whole lot of offensive awards, but defensively, we have a couple of things that we can lock up. And for whatever reason, this matchup has been glitched. I don't know if you guys ever played Chargers versus Broncos in your franchises, but Shady can tell you, we always freaking play a damn weathery game. It's always raining every single time when we play. And I don't know what it is. These are the only weather games we have all year. I guess we can't really complain because at least it's something different for some time. It's the only weather games we have unless it's, you know, the postseason, really. Uh, but, hey, I'm not going to complain about it because it's useless. It's going to keep happening and never going to stop. First step for the one, we're having a pretty damn good drive as usual. And here we're going to wind it up, apparently. We're going to hold on to that ball and lose about 15 yards. Lovely stuff. Looking for somebody open and... There's a user lurk. I thought we went with the high point. Apparently not. And Sua Craven's going to get an easy interception off of that decision. First and 10 to the outside. Dropped pick. No contest. Interesting decision by us. Second and 10 up the middle. He's going to find a little bit of room. Weird little tackle animation. Gets tackled after a gain of 7. Third and 3 now from the 18-yard line. He's going to be short. Going to be at the 20-yard line now. And, of course... This early, he's going to have to punt the ball. Our ball, the 41-yard line. The wind helped a little bit as well. And did he hold on? He did not. So should have held on to the first time. Didn't. Tipped into his hand. Should have held on to the second one. Didn't. Inside, Tyree Cleveland finding a little bit of room. His own guy really taking him down there. Lock it. Uh, this offense is going to definitely look different next season, though. Lock it. Jacoby gone. Maybe more. Melvin, who knows? Uh, third and ten. To the outside, Melvin, not even going to catch him. the ball there. Here comes a uh, field goal, which will doink off the crossbar. Nice, lovely stuff. So it's still zero all with two minutes left in the first quarter. There's a pick for Derwin, who could take it. Nope, he will not. He had a chance. If he broke the first tackle, he would have been gone. First and 10 from the 46-yard line. We're going to stick to the ground, and oh, look at this. Look at Melvin. Oh, he's still going. Oh, my Lord. There goes Melvin Gordon for a 54-yard touchdown. Oh, my Lord. That was uh, unexpected. And, oh, my Lord, that should have been another uh, another user. What a damn user off the line getting that bait. Broken ribs for, I almost said libs, if you say so. March Lillard. And what the hell is this? Joey Bosa, and I don't even know who. Get carried for seven yards. Interesting. Inside, that's my fault. Missed the user, and he will get the first down. So there he goes. Clutch conversion. First and 10. Gets some blocks to the outside. Wide open tight end. Gets the first down, and then some. A lot of yards there. To the 40 now after a failed run. Start of the second quarter as well. Running into a decent run stuffing front. We uh, only give up two yards, so a third and 11, which is going to be very tough. And he's already in some trouble inside. Why are we dropping everything? I don't know. Desmond King cannot hold on. Here comes a field goal, which will be short. Interesting. I did not think it was short from this first look. Bring in some pressure. We're going to take a shot to the corner. Look at the throw all the way down the 11. That was a dime to Cleveland. To the 11-yard line now. Jacoby, corner shot. Cannot hold on. I really want to just reward for Jacoby. Or Jacoby? Cleveland for such a great play. Don't know if it's going to happen, though. And here... Kobe rolling out, third and 14, looking for somebody open. Not really going to find anyone open under pressure. And we're just going to have to throw this one away. So we will extend the lead to 10 points, but really wanted to get a touchdown there. Hill in good position. Of course, his receiver, very tall. I believe that's his 6'5 receiver, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't really take a look at the number too well. Obviously not easy to pick that off. Third and 10, tackled by Casey Hayward, who once again, another face that we probably won't see. Was it Casey? I think it was Casey. Weber has a shot 
for 83 yards, and he's gone. For the touchdown, five minutes left, up 17-0. This is starting to look like a classic one of our games. I'll tell you what, inside late. I don't know how that's a fumble, but apparently it is. Aaron Donald recovers with a very athletic hurdle roll to the eight-yard line. Melvin hurtling over the blocks, apparently, and scoring a touchdown himself. So here, it's really looking bad. It's There's nothing about it that looks good. It's, it's not a good situation to be in. Obviously, we'll take it. I suppose we'll take it. But, yeah, this is just... This is the team, you know, the things this team can do against a team that just isn't on their level. So, I mean, what else can you expect? However, Desmond King and company get burned down the middle by Jake Butt. Love your last name, bro. I mean, hey, if his not last name can become a pro, anyone's last name is good enough to be a pro. You know that? You know that? It's just, it doesn't matter. You know, if that's something you're worried about, don't even worry about it. Quick throw to the outside. Melvin gets the catch almost gets the first down they're gonna you know i think we gotta run afterwards but first and ten for the 28 yard line looking for someone open not gonna find anyone open we're gonna get caught off the edge by cam jordan nowhere really to throw and on the run mrs weber come on jacoby you're better than this this is definitely one of his worst seasons he's had i don't know if there's regression what's the story there oh i mean <laughs> that's a pretty damn good throw for a guy that's regressed on the move across his body really Never had his feet necessarily set. And uh-oh. How? How did we not pick that off? He almost caught it off the multi-tip. Either way, second and ten from the 25-yard line. Under two minutes to go. And that is severely underthrown. And it's picked off by Hill. Damon Harrison gets hurt, but he rarely, rarely comes in anyways. And here, going to just take a shot to the end zone. And what... A dime. Jacoby heard what I said. Did not like it one bit. And here, looking for the pick. Can't get the pick when you just misjudge the depth of the ball. And we pretty much just let him have an easy first down there. To the end zone, though. A little bit of pass interference. They're going to call it. I, I don't know. It's a little iffy to me. First and goal from the one-yard line. Looking to run, probably. He will, and he gets hammered on the inside by maybe Derwin. I don't even know. That's the one guy I would trust. To hit someone really hard. And then off the edge, we come quick again. Yeah, I know about that. What? Derwin James from the 13 yard line. Gonna try to jump to swat it. We can't. And the greatest animations continue. <laughs> Moncrief somehow carrying two to three players in the end zone. By the way, look at the left side of the screen on that one. I would love to replay that. Blurry footage is cool, but where the hell is he going? Is that the fullback? I don't even know what's going on anymore, but. Thank God we have a big lead. Oh, speaking of big leads, 39 face mask. And uh, we unfortunately will accept it. Well, fortunately for him, taking a shot deep. And there is no one on his side there. Oh, my God. Who caught that? Who was it? Where does it decline? And who even cares at this point? I want the yardage. I want that catch. We don't need to score more points. That catch was sick, and we almost picked it. However, Trevor does it anyway, so we don't even need to worry about it. I don't even know if we're allowed to return this. Jesus, the bowling ball in action. Trevor Williams hammering a guy. Third and three under pressure. Taking our time. Don't need to worry about it. Look at Tyree Cleveland. He's so elusive. But he's kind of slow with what he does, so I don't know. Melvin to the outside. Melvin has a chance to score, and he will. 27-yard touchdown just absolutely outran everybody. Who said he was too old? Who said he was too old? Oh, everyone. Oh. I guess maybe. But he's uh, he's still pretty damn good. 44-13. Interesting score, I must say. Second and seven, under pressure. He's going to take a shot deep, and Derwin, I mean, that's pretty easy for him to make a play on. And I don't even know if we're allowed to return these, but I've just, I just haven't. And I will I will break tackles. I, will, I don't care if I'm going forward or not. If I have a chance to break a tackle, I'm going for it. Uh, and here goes Eckler down the side of the field. Eckler is not going to be stopped until around the 45-yard line. Eckler getting involved as well. We might have to trade Eckler as well because he's probably going to be on a contract year, I think. And, oh, look at the Weber. He's got a little bit of speed. But he's going to be on a contract year, I would assume. And uh, most importantly, we need to just find somebody that actually may start him. The thing is, though, he does have decent numbers for a backup. So if somebody does decide to go for him and they don't start him, he's going to get even worse neglection. So it is what it is. And here you can see, uh, kind of like last game, I believe, the last play of the third quarter, which is pretty much the last time Jacoby and the starters can play if we're up by 25-plus, uh, is going to resolve. Oh, what a pick. 
is going to result in, you know, a sack or just a bad play in general. Here we uh, obviously doing well again. You know, another pick with Moses Eckler this time around the edge, and we just we just don't want to score. Simply put, don't want to score. Uh, give the ball to the fullback, see what he wants to do. Get absolutely destroyed is what he wanted to do. Don't even put up a field goal. There's just no point. We'll play defense because it's kind of fun to test the guys and go for uh, go for it. And Jesus, Desmond King with a pick over the line. Probably could have kept running, and there goes bowling ball Desmond. These guys love to just pound into people. Gross. Uh, first and ten, here comes the fullback. Probably not a smart idea to go backwards, although there's no way. He's still going. Look at him. A spin cut all the way to the 48-yard line. The greatest fullback run of all time. Seven-yard gain. Broke like five tackles. Unbelievable effort there. Holding on to the ball like a madman. Echo to the left side. This could put him up over 100 yards. It will not. It's a little, a little close. And here goes Eckler, and he will easily get over 100 this time. A little cut spin to the 17-yard line. Over 100 for Eckler. I would assume over 100 for Melvin. Maybe I can't even remember, to be honest. But overall, a great game for the entire team. The defense was locked down as usual. Well, maybe not locked down, but they, they took the ball away a lot, which, I mean, maybe not exactly the definition of lockdown. But, you know, in the end, when you're giving that many chances to your offense, even if you give up a lot of yards or a couple of scores here and there. It's probably a, a good trade-off. We took the ball away eight times. We gave the ball away once, and that was a pick in the red zone kind of early. Not a good look for Mazzo because we just we need to keep it going. We need to be damn near perfect, honestly. We just got to keep that, that perfect mentality of the Chargers uh, going as much as we can. Uh, Jacoby with a 60% completion percentage, which is pretty decent, I suppose. Uh, Martell... Not doing super well. It did have two touchdowns. Eckler and Gordon go over 100 each. Let's take a look at the receiving game. Cleveland, 234 yards, 130 from Weber. A very good uh, offensive battle and obviously takeaways wise, very good as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe if you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome PK. So, you know, subscribe to my second channel, PK or Plays. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!